And it's another thing. Golden Boy, give me my mother effing release form. Now. I got other people waiting. If you ain't giving me half a mil like I told you, then I need to get the hell out of this goddamn release form right now. I need the release form now. No, you're not going to just sit there and try to just match anything and have me go with you and put me on a shelf again. And promise me that you was going to fight me with, against um against um, Virgil Ortiz and then not pull off the promise. You know what I mean? Because, oh, he's not going to win. No, okay, he's not going to win. So what? So what? After after the um, it was like this. We went into a fight, and in, like inside the fights, like right before the fight with with um with Keith, what was it? Uh, who's the guy that fought? Uh, Maurice Hooker. Right before the fight, look, man, we got you. All you gotta do, you you just win this, and you back up, you back on top, you back on top. I have this shit on tape. You back on top after this fight, you fight Alexis Rocha. Okay. All right, cool. Bet. Watch this. Hold my drink. <laughs> I run down on fucking Keith Thurman. I mean, um, Maurice Hooker, like it ain't nothing. He damn near got raped in that bitch. And then, and then what? Then, then after that, silence, complete silence, for the rest of my term of my goddamn um career, the rest of my term. They had all the way until like what December to get me another fight. So it was it was plenty of time, plenty of space. We get another fight against against who they said they was gonna fight me against, Virgil Ortiz. It's not like it's gonna sell. It's not like it's not gonna sell. Mm. <laughs> Everybody's gonna stay tuned. I'm gonna talk the most shit and I'm gonna back that shit up. That's the scary part though. Y'all look like nah. You know what I mean? We had some people like this that called up like, yo, what are you doing with Blood of Flair? Well, we got we got Alexis Rocha. Okay, look. He smokes he smokes Alexis Rocha in the rematch. Then what? Then what? Are you gonna are you gonna are you gonna use him and push his push his career? Well, we have we have Virgil Ortiz. Are you really going to fight Blood of Flair with Virgil Ortiz? Nah, nah, nah. This is you know who's talking. Nah, nah, nah. That's too risky. Too risky. <laughs> too risky. So as far as uh, Golden Boy Promotions goes, right? Mm -hmm. uh, I don't. Uh, I don't really know like the logistics on the contract. Um, is there like a waiting period to where as though you can Look, like, negotiate or renegotiate? The the the, con the contract is completely completely done, and even the um the right of refusal is completely expired. Now the thing is, they need to give me a release form so I can move on. I move on and fight and fight for a big title. It's either it's either uh, it's either it's going to be one of these guys. Ugas, fight me now. Keith Thurman, fight me now. You know what I mean? Why well, would even go as far as to just say, okay, give me a young fighter. I mean, Cody Crawley's definitely up there. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Even though he's a good friend of mine, but if that's got if that's got a fight, that's a good fight. That's a big fight. That's gonna put me where I need to be. Even though it won't it won't be like a fucking like like it's gonna like give me a whole lot more money. You know what I'm saying? Mm. And it's not like I'm not worth a lot more and a lot bigger than a Cody Crawley fight. I am. I've proven myself time and time again. You know what I mean? It's like, what more do you want from me? You know, so um, we're we're working on this shit, and um, and it's very frustrating, cause like it's always something that's trying to stop me from going where I need to go. But God said, and that's where that's where it ends.